Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil. It's been a long time, but I uh, do wanted to make a video on something that was very important, and that is locating the web page for the MetaQuest Link compatibility. And many of you have probably come across this issue where uh, you go to a page that's not available. And part of the reason for that is um, my understanding is that Meta is in a process of rebranding. So in the meantime, while they're doing that, they've changed the location of the URL. So if you look here, this was the original URL and it's changed multiple times in, uh, to be able to gather the information that you need in regards to the graphics card requirements. Now, uh, it did change, which I have the location here. And as you can see, as I'm gonna go through it real quick, and this is something that you can do uh, on your own, but uh, I know that there's been a lot of videos, or excuse me, a lot of comments in regards to what type of graphics card is compatible with your MetaQuest, and um, there are a number of them that aren't. Now keep in mind there are a bunch of different variables that could contribute to the, the headset not being able to connect to your PC, and this video is not an exhaustive view on, on how to do that. This is rather just to show you guys that the website address has changed in regards to what I believe is the rebranding of the MetaQuest, uh, but kind of keep in mind that you have to understand that um, it takes a little bit of time to be able to make graphics cards and PCs compatible, and there's a lot of different configurations with PCs that could also contribute to the possibility that your headset will not connect to the PC. Otherwise, here's the website. You'll see it in the description below. Thank you guys for stopping by.